The eye exam is an important part of the physical assessment, not just an exam performed by ophthalmologist and optometrist. The eye is the only place in the body where veins and arteries can be seen non-invasively. An exam can reveal important details about a patient's general health, such as the effects of high blood pressure, diabetes, or concussion. When performing an eye exam, the basic steps are the same for most ophthalmoscopes. Welch Allen manufactures two ophthalmoscopes, a traditional ophthalmoscope, and our Welch Allen Panoptic Ophthalmoscope, designed to give you a 25 times larger viewing area, helping support faster and easier examination of the eye. Now we're going to review how to use the Welch Allen Panoptic Ophthalmoscope. To correct for your vision, look through the scope at an object that's about 10 feet away and adjust the focus until it's as clear as possible. Turn the scope on at full intensity. You may want to dim later for patient comfort. Adjust to the appropriate light setting, selecting from different size, shape, or colored filters. To start, set it at the largest white spot available to illuminate the whole area of view. The eye cup helps keep the device stable and helps ensure the correct working distance. During use, make sure to compress against the patient's brow and explain to them that it will not touch their eye. Ask your patient to keep their gaze over your shoulder. This helps you gain better entry into the retina. Position yourself about 12 inches away at a 15 degree angle on the temple side of the patient and level with the patient's gaze. Aim at the patient's eye and look for the red retinal reflex. Slowly follow the red reflex toward the patient and into the pupil. Move to about one inch from the patient or until the eye cup touches the patient. At this point, the optic disc and surrounding vessels should be visible. If you lose the image, pull back until you see the red reflex again, then start back in.